Today we're here at Superior Market talking about CalFresh programs. 45% of the residents in the 64th State Assembly District are eligible for CalFresh program, but yet are not taking advantage of this benefit. Individuals in this district are having to deal with paying rent this week or buying groceries. CalFresh can help by increasing the household food budget. Whether you are a senior, a student, a part-time employee, or a family. Not only am I taking this challenge to shed light on poverty and hunger and disease in my community, but also to draw attention to the food desert. In this district, we have a proliferation of unhealthy um, food establishments. We need more fresh produce. We need more uh, healthy foods that uh, families can live off of, that families can have access to. We need more healthy restaurants and markets such as Superior Grocery that offers fresh food at affordable price. My wife, Lucretia Gibson, and my son, Jordan Gibson, have all agreed to join me as we shop and plan our healthy meals based on Cal Fresh budget. The monthly allotment for a family of three is $511. That equates to $127.75 a week. We strongly believe that you will have to walk in someone's shoes in order to attempt to understand their plight. I'm very excited that my husband chose to include himself as well as our family in this challenge. He definitely has the heart of people, and to show that he had that, we decided to put ourselves in the shoes of families that have this struggle. He's the type of person that want to, you don't just want to talk about it, but want to be about it, and so within this challenge, we were able to be about it. As we went to, entered into the grocery store, I started in the produce and vegetable section where we purchased our fresh fruits, vegetables, our dry beans, our rice. I did find myself weighing the fruits and vegetables and upon doing so I did find that it was quite expensive. The same as in the, um, the meat section, we purchased some ground chicken which normally we wouldn't buy and I purchased that pipe by the pound so I can stretch that to use it for dinner for possibly two days versus something for one day and I wanted to make sure that those items that I did get would be enough to sustain us for the entire week. So it's a matter of trying to put a meal together, enough of that to where you can stretch and you can have it again for the following day, or you can refrigerate and freeze it and have it maybe somewhere down the line throughout the week. Well, let me say it was a challenge. It was a challenge um, for my wife and my son and myself to live off $127 uh, for an entire week. I took my 43 something dollars um, to Sacramento with me, and needless to say, I ran out. Um, but I wanted to continue with the challenge. I spoke with my husband in Sacramento to see how it was going for him. Um, and it got tough, as a matter of fact. Um, I wanted to buy coffee, um, didn't have money to buy coffee. When my coworkers came to me to see if I'm going to order fish, and I was like, yes, and I was like, no, I can't. And she says, why not? I says, I don't have money. <sighs> it was hard, like after school, because I'm used to going with my friends, we get food and we hang out and have fun, but this week, I couldn't go anywhere. Uh, I felt that not all families are capable to get everything that they want like we are. Uh, they're not as fortunate. Um, a lot of families have to struggle and stuff, and we're very fortunate to where we don't really have to struggle. And I see how they felt now. I know without a shadow of a doubt, it's a challenge for people day in and day out, living on the allotment that they receive from Cal Fresh and then taking that allotment and making it stretch. And then while they're trying to make it stretch, trying to find healthy food options in our community that are just not there. And so I'm bothered by that. I'm bothered even when, you, when people having to make decisions to either pay for rent or buy groceries. We shouldn't have to make those kind of decisions. I'm pretty proud of my dad for having us do this challenge. It really gave me an insight on how um, other families are, how they kind of get through their everyday lives, how they have to live. Um, just makes me very fortunate to have the things I have and be able to do the things I could do. 45% of the population I represent are eligible but have not taken advantage 
of the allotment, the Cal Fresh has for them. And I want to make sure that everyone um, go out, um, you know, get the resources they need through Cal Fresh, and also live a long and productive and healthy lifestyle.